Harold Z. Zeta here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Inc. In the last episode, we started playing the game, and in this episode, I'm here on the pause screen instead of actually playing, because I want to sh show off something neat that adds to just a little bit of the charm. Changing things makes different splatters of ink color and show up on the th menu, and I just- that's such- there are great touches in this game, I love it. Anyways, let's see what's here. I was looking at some of the achievements for this game. It seems like there are 20 total of those little heart coins. I don't know how many I have now. I th Actually, I think the achievement progress said I had six. So that's not too bad. I don't know how many levels are in this game. Although I do know there's at least 66 because whichever one level 66 is, there's an achievement to do it without double jumping. So... This is very weirdly specific. Uh, also, there's a lot of achievements for beating entire worlds without dying. Which... I mean, yeah, it makes sense that that's an achievement, but holy crap, that does not seem like something I'm gonna really try and do. I'm not sure if I'm gonna try and 100% this game or not. If it's just finding the coins, then maybe. Though I'm, I'm actually not sure, because thinking about it, they're invisible coins, so I can't, like, they're not like the bandages in Secret Meat Boy, where I can just tell that there's a bandage there in the level, because it's there, and the difficulty is getting it. Here, the difficulty is more so in finding it, and then living through the rest of the level. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll just get lucky and find all tw all 20 of them on my first try. Let's just go this way. I'm glad that there is a challenge here, though. Kind of reminds me of Super Meat Boy Light, in a way, I guess. I keep comparing it to Super Meat Boy, so I'm sorry if you haven't played Super Meat Boy, but at the same time, if you haven't played Super Meat Boy, you need to play Super Meat Boy. That's a great game. It's also on Steam, so get that. And unlike this game, at least as far as I know of, unlike this game, Super Meat Boy is also on consoles like Wii U and PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. So if you have any current generation console, then you can play Super Meat Boy. So play Super Meat Boy. This video is not sponsored by Team Meat in any way. Especially considering Team uh, Meat Boy is one of their older games, and they're currently basically only doing Binding of Isaac as far as I can tell, and I've never played that game, and I don't really have much of an interest to because I'm not huge on roguelikes, and also the entire game looks really gross to me. <laughs> it's just a visual aesthetic thing. Like I know it, some people like them, I'm not saying it's bad to to have that kind of visual aesthetic, but it's not my cup of tea. This level is giving me problems. But don't worry, I'll get the hang of it. Hmm. Experimentation time. Huh, so I can stand in those things. It's only... It's not the action. It's not the incomplete triangle that kills me. It's the other triangle. So I can stand here, wait for that, and wait here. Okay. Well. Everything is colorful! Oop. There's definitely a part of this that is a little bit of memorization. Ow. Oh. Oh, hold on. No dropped frames. Um, OBS, which is the program that I used to record, it was just saying that there's a high encoding. It's not saying that the video is like, dropping frames, but it, it's worrying me. 
What if I just keep on? Is it gonna start dropping frames? Well, my game itself is a bit lagging right now. Okay, um, I don't really have graphical settings, and I couldn't- you can't even have this thing be not full screen, which- that's a criticism I can say, like, windowed mode, please. Yeah, like, my computer is not really handling this well, and it's weird because- it must just because be because all of the different colors and stuff, or something- I don't know, this is sprite-based, why- what is- why is my computer so garbage? Okay, I made it. Whoa! Ah, so I have to get him to run into the wall. That's neat. Alright, so I guess this is boss 2. This is, this is neat, it's like momentum based a little bit. I was just a little bit shocked because I wasn't expecting the boss to show up and immediately kind of attack me. I liked it though. It's simple, but it's effective. How many more hits? I mean, I'm assuming that this is hurting him. He's running headfirst into spikes. I don't really see anything else to do either. Because, I mean, there's enough... There's enough spikes on the rest of the wall that it doesn't seem to want me to climb it. I feel like I'm doing nothing. I might consider that you need to jump on him? But at the same time, then what's the point of the things that fall? And I also don't want to try jumping on him now, because what if that restarts this whole thing and I'm doing the right thing right now? Okay, you do have to jump on him, that's... Okay, I feel like that's a little almost counter... I feel like that's a little almost counterintuitive, considering all the things that fall from the sky make you seem to kind of almost imply that you're supposed to be running after... afterwards? I don't know. It's still not the worst thing in the world. <laughs> oh. It hit the tiniest bit of the corner. Oh. Okay, so they're home in shots. I was expecting that they just... Okay, so they don't have the best range. And they only really attack if they... If you're in, if they're in, okay. So they're kind of like the homing turrets of N. N. This game also does kind of remind me of N in a way. It's a little bit less so than Meat Boy because N is a lot. The level design is a lot more different than this. It's much more enemy and time based than this. 
It is a good game. I should... I should try and play uh, in Plus Plus sometime, because I got that on Steam thanks to friend Quint. So that's cool of him. So maybe I can do that on Let's Play at some point. Uh, okay. I want the heart coin, and I also, but I also want to live. So I'm, I have, I have confliction here. Damn it, confliction is my enemy. Confliction, wall. Get to the end, get to the end, get to the end, yeah! Now that's what I'm talking about. Ow. 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 I don't know how that missed me, I don't know how that missed me, I don't know how that missed- No! Let me get out of the way! Get out of the way, get out of the way! I don't like being here right now. <laughs> oh, this is getting hectic. Hectic. Oh, shoot. 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 Well, it was nice knowing me. This... The way the ink looks is giving me a very Kirby Canvas curse vibe, actually. The way I'm thinking about it. And the little doorway of swirling ink colors, it's very Kirby Canvas Curse. Or Kirby Power Pairing Bush, depending on your region. So that's neat. Oh, damn it. You can't... Why is touching the sides of spikes hurt? Maybe that's why I like it so much, because it's invoking memories of Kirby games for me. That was accidental. Whoa, what the? Oh, 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 I get it. So nothing happens until I kill the enemy. Gotcha. That allows me to prepare for this a lot more. Damn it. I wasn't prepared. Scar would have been upset with me. Ow, I thought I could make that. This is seriously super fun, like, I definitely recommend you play this, like, because I mean, a game like this, like, it's fun to watch, probably, hopefully, but like, it's the kind of game that you also really want to play as well. I keep thinking that they're gonna go to where I was when I where I when they see me. Oh. So bouncing off an enemy doesn't give you your double jump back. That's unfortunate. Okay, come on. Oh, there's no ground there. <laughs> oh, that's cruel. <laughs> I should have seen that coming, too. That's clever, though. Problem square. Watch me solve my problems by squaring. Fuck. 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 Ooh. Yeah, okay, so can't kill the fifth guy. Fuck. I keep forgetting that. It's so enticing to just jump on enemies. 
I like that the difficulty is really increasing here, though. I wonder if this is level 66. This does seem like the kind of thing that it would be like, wait, you can do this without double jumping? Uh, yeah! I got ten of them. <laughs> okay, so that's ten of those coins now. Oh, that's a wall. In my way. Whoops. I need to get used to how these things work because I still I'm still expecting different homing turret things. gonna be something there. It was too empty. Well, that's... Oh, okay. I, I love those moments of just, I don't know what the level's gonna look like yet. Everything's exploding, everything's lagging. turrets is gonna open up now. Let's just see the, as much of the ground area as possible. Okay. Which one? Upper one. Okay. Mm. Oh, I didn't realize he fired already. He does fire me. Damn it! He fires immediately, so you can just kind of head over to that. Guy. Head over to him. I feel like jumping on an enemy should give you your double jump back. Minor nitpick. Speed running tactics. Probably not, but I don't care. minutes in. I might have done... Okay! <laughs> uh, I love the creativity of some of these levels, though. Um... Ah, uh, okay. Okay! Okay! Easy next time, level! <laughs> These are not pulling, pulling, pulling punches this time. No! It was, I had it too! So it'll definitely be easier to get that one when there's another platform over there. Just try and get rid of one of, one of the ones on the side and then go for it. Or I can do that. Yeah! 
I am a successful ink. Okay, figuring out what this level is going to consist of. Always a good move. Should have seen that coming. Should I expect the same thing, or should I expect different things? Gotcha! Okay. Uh, you know what? Next time. Next time on Let's Play Inc. I will continue forward and play more of the game. This is fun so far, though. I really like this. Quite an enjoyable experience, in my opinion.